Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Carrie's Gardening Channel. So today is August the 3rd, 2019, and I wanted to give you an update on my uh, celosia plants that I started from seed. And um, I did a video on my channel for how to grow celosia from seed, so uh, you can check that out on there. So this here is the uh, crested variety here, and there's some more down here. I do have some different colors. And you can see how large the uh, flower heads are on these. And uh, over here is a plume type celosia. Now, um, we did show some of our uh, celosias in the flower show this year, and uh, the plumes there, that one took a uh, first place, and we showed some of the crested varieties. We took a uh, first place and a second place in that. I'll show some pictures then of those. And uh, here's some more plume varieties of celosia. Now, um, I'm still working on my flower bed, and I'm still working on getting the uh, invasive perennials out that took over. So there are a few spots that um, need some more uh, compost added to the soil. This is one of those spots. That's why these didn't grow that big. But um, like I said, I'm still working on it. And there are a lot of different types of celosia. There's celosia that gets real tall, and there's celosia that stays short. And uh, I do have some dwarf varieties of celosia. Now, these here were supposed to be the uh, plume celosias, but being the lack of food in the soil, they stayed shorter. And uh, some of these were planted at different times, which is why... Um, some are shorter than others, and there's um, a bunch of different varieties kind of all mixed in here. Now, um, celosia does not like cold, so you want to make sure that before you plant your celosia plants out, the danger of frost has passed. Um, because this is one type of plant that just, it will not tolerate cold temperatures. Now, um, these do readily reseed themselves, and um, I there's none at that point yet to show you is what it looks like. Um, now what this flower will actually do is this whole thing here, the whole way down will turn into seeds. It'll actually bloom and then this whole thing will just get like seed pods on it and turn into seeds. And then you can collect the seeds and replant them for next year. Now celosia will cross. So, um... If you want to save seed from a particular variety, uh, you have to plant that one elsewhere or only plant one variety for that year. Now these can get very tall. Um, these are actually short and the blooms are actually small on these compared to how large they can get. So um, I'm just going to keep working with the soil and get it built up so that... Um, they continue to grow for me. And celosia likes well-drained soil. Uh, you don't want your celosia plants sitting in water. It will rot the root systems on them. And um, some of your celosias will actually put off side shoots of smaller crested heads. And um, now the uh, coral dwarf mix that one there does not put off any side shoots that I've ever seen. Uh, those stay short, and I haven't seen them bloom more than one time. So um, what you can do with that particular variety is you can do successive sowing, like every two weeks, to have a more continuous supply. But these last a good long while for blooming. And I just, I love the uh, crested type celosias. I like the shape of them. 
Um, I like the velvety texture that they have. Now my mom, she really likes, and you, you can see here just the waves that they have. They're really neat. They remind me of a coral reef. Now my mom, she's more into the plumed style ones. And they're really soft and feathery. They have really nice soft feathery uh, blooms on them. And they're just really neat. So these are my mom's favorite type here. So we kind of just mix like the two of them together in our plantings. And uh, she has the ones then that she likes and I have the ones then that uh, I like. But they're really just very, um, they're a very unique plant. And they're very different. Now um, this particular one here is an Amish coxcomb one. And uh, this is a crested variety. Now they do, different varieties do bloom differently. You can see this one here has multiple little side shoots coming out on it. And um, you can see this one here is actually getting ready to give seeds off of it. And um, I will do a video then to show you how to collect seeds from your celosia. But uh, it's just a very unique plant. Again, it has a nice like velvety texture to it. It's like really soft. And um, back here is another form of a uh, crested solution. Now this one here bloomed a little different. Uh, the crested head part didn't get very large, but it put off a bunch of um, like side shoots all over the main head. So you never know what you're going to get with them. They're just, to me, they're very unique. So it's a plant that I enjoy growing. Um, and it's uh, something that I do recommend. Now, um, I don't recommend growing these in hanging baskets. Um, you could grow them in planters and uh, like window boxes and stuff like that. But um, a hanging basket, I just wouldn't recommend this particular plant for. And you can see some other varieties over here. Now this one here is a more tightly packed uh, crested celosia. And then, we have a plume one over here. Now this one here will get larger than this. It's uh, still a younger plant. And uh, this one here is an orange peach crested celosia. So uh, these here are actually in a planter. And you can see just between this one here to this one here, just the flower heads, they change. And they're a little bit different colored. So these here are just starting to come with uh, their blooms there. And uh, this here is a dwarf variety here. And uh, the peach, the orange peach is actually an heirloom variety. So if you like my video, please like, comment, subscribe. Please don't forget to hit the little notification button. I'll tell you I put a new video on. You can also follow me on Twitter. I have a link down in the description for my Twitter account. Thank you for watching and hope you have a nice day. Bye.